Y'all got any more of them rotaries? Uh. <laughs> Be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yo, Grouse, throw me everything you got, alright? <laughs> Oh my god! Make it stop! <laughs> Mom! Mom! <laughs> Sounds like you're going over a rumble. I spawn in! I spawn in! <laughs> oh my god, dude. You're breaking my game! Time to slaughter these bastards! Welcome back to Washington, D.C., the city where political parties don't matter anymore because laws don't exist and everybody's trapped. <laughs> Liberal. What, um, what noise was that, by the way? Did you just fart with your mouth? <laughs> no, that's called, why the Jello. fuck are monster cans so hard to slurp out of? And with the collapse of organized governments, it's finally time for the most oppressed group of people on Earth to rise up and take the rightful position of power. <coughs> <coughs> what is up? And I cannot stress this enough. My gamers. <laughs> <laughs> and what did we do with all this newfound power thrust into the hands of a few division agents? M32 rotary grenade launchers, you freedom loving piece of shit! Before I continue yelling at an unreasonable and nearly unwatchable volume, a quick thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video, and you can pick up the Division 2 via the link below. Alright, main objective of this whole crusade through DC M32 grenade launcher. It was our one true desire, and I don't feel the need to explain why, but I will anyway. What's the phrase? Gross? There's nothing stronger than love, yeah. except an M32 grenade launcher. You There's just nothing stronger running. than love, except an M32 rotary grenade launcher. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like that chick in like the driver's side or the passenger side seat. Yeah. There's nothing stronger than love, except an M32 rotary grenade launcher. Because fuck you and everyone near you. <laughs> <laughs> no, my other favorite one, Mira, is Patterson, fire a warning shot. Sir, this is an M32 grenade launcher. Ah, potato, <laughs> potato. Just fire it, Patterson. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't immediately available to us because with a beta being a mix of early game and late game, we were going to have to blaze some intro missions to land it. God, I want it so bad. I just don't have access to it yet. Give me your M32 rotary grenade launcher, you dumb bitch. So from a broader perspective, we not only wanted the M32, but all of the neato shit that was available in the end game. Because I love the progression system, but in the early game, you have bare bones equipment like a bus it ass Uzi or AK. Oh, I, bro, I got the strap. I keep it on me at all times. No. I got the Uzi. The Uzi. Small Uzi horizontal. No. <laughs> it's to take him no. down. Small Uzi horizontal, you piece of shit. Yet once you juxtapose that to the end game and the sheer amount of radical attachments that you can slap on even your sidearm, it's terrific yet terrifying. How do you have that many attachments on a goddamn well, pistol? Alright, I got the extended mag, I got the suppressor, I got the laser sight, I got the top ACOG, I got quad rail, key mod, hyper fire, I can fry an egg on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Wi Fi. It takes snapshots right before I shoot. Like, I got a hot like tub attachment. Thankfully, we had plenty of tools available to help us purge through the baddies. The first of which, a high tech flamen Verford that almost. Vaf's flamin. If you don't get the chem Come launcher, what the fuck is wrong with you? Can't dual wield chem launchers. <laughs> I would totally want to do that. Barbecue me, son. Should I change my feet? Oh. Oh god. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> Your mortal flames cannot hurt me. I mean, technically, it's a chemical launcher, and you ignite said chemicals to purge heretics in flame, but come on, you get the idea, and I don't know how to say launch in German. Ich weiß nicht. I, 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 here we go. Yes! That's oh, what I'm go. looking for! My god! The inferno in here! Don't disturb them, we gotta, we gotta right, hit it right, up, you ready? Right, right. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, go. Oh god, just oh, he, he everything and you hit those pipes. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, it hit the barrel! See, that's what I'm looking for. I hit that dude. And he got a whole lot of 762 in the face before he burned to death. Yo, check out my chem launcher. Shoot the gas, shoot the gas. 
There you go. So in the early stages, fire was the ultimate time saver. Oh. Like, is the VIP you're rescuing being lazy and taking too long to get up? Eleanor, I got some bad news. It's about to get real hot in here, Eleanor. Oh! The flamen launcher was the natural solution, and it got even better once you realized that you could wombo combo it with the other launcher types by foaming bad guys in place before you purge them in flame. Browse, this is perfect timing. Yeet. Oh, there it is, baby. Oh, oh God, frozen. the Inferno. Oh, the Wombo combo that I found. Nah, I got you, I got you. You ready? Oh, Heat. he's frozen. <laughs> yes, yes, the foam. Way to go. Oh, it's easy, it's oh, easy. Oh, easy it's money, easy. baby. Yet it wasn't the only useful tool that I could use to inflict maximum pain on the enemy because the sniper turret also deadly. Admittedly, a little tricky to deploy when you're so used to hitting up your chem launcher. You know the sniper turret? Have I shown you this yet? Your Death Star? Uh uh, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, 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 shit. I hit right. the wrong button, hit the wrong Bombing button. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna Why die. is everything on fire, Badger? Oh, yeah. And then, and then I'm gonna just poke your head up. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh. there, that's how you Bombing. do it. Sorry, it took me a second to figure it out. Okay, so I, so like, I see somebody, right? And then I target them. Oh, RCXD, watch me get it. A a angry boy. Boom, through. baby, oh, there baby. it is. EOD, that's how it's done. Oh, I finally figured out how to do it. This makes so much sense now. However, once I did get a grasp of the mechanics, it was like having my very own robotic Lee Harvey Oswald ready to go at a moment's notice. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just throw that joint right there. This Jeez. shit's calculated. I'm just bad at math. And fire. And wrecked. Okay, good, 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 good. <sighs> just body people. All right, all right, let me hit that, that girl all the way. Can I hit her across the way? No way. Yo, oh my god, I can! She's so far Jesus. away. <laughs> nice him, Death Star, him. bro. Dude, it is a Death Star. It's the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> Check this joint out right now, alright? So I all throw right. that right there. Sniped. Sniped. There you go. Watch this, no, guy, get Watch this guy get it. Watch this guy get it. Boom, Give baby. And it will all boom, baby. And oh, what hell? Oh, baby. Oh, the triple take. Hey, yeah. You Oh yeah. my god, that turret is so good! So, plenty of toys to make running the gauntlet of early missions a breeze, but that's where things between Grouse and I diverged, because I upgraded my character with extra armor plates, which can be swapped out in a neato way for renewed protection. But I got a sappy plate, it cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me. Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. Sappy plate out. Sappy plate. While Grouse was just upgrading his character to be a hoarder that always smashed that motherfucking loot all button and is the definition of over encumbered. Why do I always see you hitting loot all on everything? Because I just steal shit. You're gonna get you're gonna get to you're gonna get to a point where you're too heavy. Agent, worry, you're too bro. heavy, you need to lose some weight. Grouse he starts like picking out sappy plates. He gets rid of all of his water, half of his ammunition. I can't do a fucking starts uh... shoving cheese balls and energy drinks and whey protein into his bag. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Listen here, buddy. Just because I have to use my slots for that should be used for my plates. For additional food storage, <laughs> I got half of a turkey thigh in here, I'll have you know. <laughs> You're thinking, oh, what if I get shot? How will I protect myself? Well, I'm protecting myself against hunger in the field. You ever think of that one? Agent, you realize that's your only Kevlar plate on your chest, right? That you're taking out right now? Listen, buddy, I was in Fallujah. I need these cheese balls. <laughs> I do four tours in the sandbox. You shut your mouth. Somebody questions you on it. Why are you taking out your sappy plate? Can you eat Kevlar? No. Excuse Can you me, eat sir. cheese balls? Yes. Level 3A doesn't count for much when I'm trying to carb up. <laughs> <laughs> and after I gave Grouse an expert lesson on tear gas, I'm just gonna sit in the tear gas because I don't feel like moving to a new location. I'm good. Yep. I'm good uh -huh. here. The American protesters guide. <laughs> Y'all mind if I just sit in this tear gas really quick? Heavenly and Ecat swooped in to join the squad in our journey to Endgame. And there was one rule and one rule only when they arrived. Can we please have a video without fucking food in it? For the love I'm of sorry. God. No, I don't need to make this episode about food again, <laughs> Heavenly. Please, when you bring shit up like that, can you provide some context? I don't want my viewers just to say, T I just watched your video. What the hell is mumbo sauce? Go, go, get out of here. Mumbo sauce is the blood of DC. And Gogo -Go is the heart. Uh, I'm pretty sure this glass is bulletproof. I'm gonna reload and check another mag. Let's see. Uh, definitely bulletproof. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I shot at him too. Let like, me I'm gonna you. Let, Let me in! With their help, we managed to make it to the end game, which apparently takes 30 to 40 hours in the retail game, and with the sheer amount of customization available, Grouse looked like a billion dollar super soldier after one loading screen. Oh, you know I got the rails on me. I got the Picatinny. 
Pick it. <laughs> rail system. Things you shouldn't be that excited about. Pick a tinny rails. <laughs> Have you ever seen a hyper fire trigger? No. You breathe on that bitch, it fires, dude. It's so scary. Uh -huh. Yes, it's like a bobby pin, but you can rapidly fire, fire it. Oh it's yeah, like look at the magazine on this bitch. That's like, yeah. it's gigantic. <laughs> nah, this is what I got. What the fuck? Because fuck you and your extended family. <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, though, we finally had access to the specializations, which meant survivalist grouse on an explosive crossbow and sharpshooter ecash on an armor cracking magnum. Oh, I nailed My him. My son's the on the way. Oh, I nailed him. With what? Your crossbow? With, a, with my crossbow oh, with a controller from that. That's what it was. Or, fucking catch me. I was wondering. Rifle. Boom. Oh my god, is keep hitting him. Is Whoever's, he shooting actual lasers? Who's ever shooting him. Yeah, that was my magnum, by the way. Oh, he's about to curve stop it all! Oh, yeah, he just god. went straight gorilla to curve <laughs> And of course, on Demolitionist, in my hands, an M32 rotary grenade launcher, which I can only describe as the solution to your problem. No matter what that problem may be. Yeah, okay, you ready? You ready? Here we yeah, go, fella. Yeah, yeah. One. Oh, he's already oh done. Wow. God. Wow. What I forgot about, though, is how amazing the reload is, because obviously I've used it before, but I didn't remember how cash this reload animation is. Oh, fucking bet. You fucking were ready bet. For war bet. Out here. bet. Bet. Oh, the bet twist. That reload on. animation is so nice. Oh, oh shit. My God. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I hit the wrong button. You know, maybe you shouldn't have the grenade launcher. You, you know, <laughs> you know, maybe I didn't ask for your opinion, Grouse. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every reload animation in the game should be this fancy because who cares about tactical effectiveness when you can flex with aesthetics? No, 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 no. You uh, have the irons on a pistol and you interlock two of them and you s you rack you, <laughs> you rack them both at the same time and hope that you don't shoot yourself in both of your forearms. Like if you goof that one up, you are definitely blowing open both of your forearms. But it looks so sick. But no matter how simple or fancy your reload, you're gonna need some heavy weaponry to take down the endgame baddies, because I'm not sure if they were tweaked since the last time that I played them, but the Black Tusk dwarfed the skill level of the hyenas. Like, try to imagine your average hyena. This dude pulls up to two division H with a Glock 18. This is my town, and then instantly gets a laid out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. Then contrast that with the average black tusk that will curb stomp you into submission and double tap your ass without hesitation or mercy. See that big guy down the end? Stay down. Oh my god, he just busted my shit. I was not ADSing. Please help me. He's gonna curb stomp my shit if you don't help me. Oh my god, he just double tapped me! He double tapped me in the ribs! So if you like to get two tapped in the ribs by super soldiers just like me, don't forget that you can hit up the Division 2 via the link below. And that is about it. I would like to thank you so very much for watching. One final thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video, and be sure to tune in next time when I remind you that a sappy plate can also be used as a dinner plate. You know what? Now that I think about that, that's kind of depressing. Like, I imagine a marine somewhere has probably done that before. <laughs> and now it's even worse, the more that I think about it, because Kevlar blocks bullets and surface for food. Dinner plate, surface for food, but that whole blocking bullets part? Not too hot there, chief. Wouldn't want to stick one of those in your plate carrier.